IQ. It's plastered everywhere on the internet from sports to video games, but no one really talks about what IQ really is. And that's because the idea of IQ is actually pretty controversial. No one really knows how accurate it is or if it even works at all. I'll quickly explain the basics of IQ. An IQ test tries to measure your reasoning and problem solving abilities. It gives you a numbered score anywhere from like 50 to 200, but 95% of people fall between 70 and 130, with the average being 100. But why do I even care about IQ? And why am I even taking this test? So to give a little backstory, in eighth grade I first heard about IQ, and immediately I was obsessed because, well, I wanted to have a high IQ, so I went home and took these like online IQ tests, and if you know anything about IQ testing, those online IQ tests are complete BS. I don't even remember what I got on those tests, but I just remember I wasn't happy about my IQ. But there was never really a way to test my IQ, like officially, because I'm like a middle schooler, what am I gonna do? Eventually, I just moved on and stopped caring. Fast forward to the present day, I'm a freshman in college and I'm taking a psychology class this semester. One of the topics we just covered was IQ. And since I'm an adult now, I can actually schedule an appointment for an official IQ test. So that's what I did. Boston, our psychological services. Do you happen to do IQ testing? Yes. How much would it cost? Not covered by insurance, it's $500. $500, bro. So that option was out the window because I don't even have $500 in my bank account. So instead I scheduled an in-person test with Mensa, which is this pretentious high IQ society that you have to test to get into. It's really stupid, but I'll get back to that later. So I just scheduled an IQ test online and I'm really about to pay $100 for this. But fucking Mensa, dude, it's an actual scam, dude. This whole thing is just a scam. And submit order. Okay, well there goes $100. Watch me get like an 82. So we're on our way to the test. I'm in an Uber right now. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, so I couldn't actually take my phone inside and film any of the tests, but here's where it gets a little crummy. So I took the test at a Boston University test center, and the test center kind of looked like this with cubicles and computers. So I basically just paid $100 just to take an online test that I could have probably taken at home. But anyways, what was actually on the test? There was a verbal section, there was a math section, there was like a pattern recognition section. Anything you'd find on like, literally just search up IQ test, and the first thing you'll find online is probably very similar. All right, now the part you've been waiting for, getting my score back. <sighs> We just got the email back from Men's stuff, and wow, oh, I'm scared. Oh man, I really don't want to be stupid, man. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh my god! Oh my god, yo! Please. Oh my god. No! no! Okay, as you can tell, that reaction is clearly fake. Because the thing is. I never got my score back. So here's the actual email I got from them. Dear Mino, congratulations. We received your scores, blah, 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 blah. At the bottom, in the finest print ever, it says, unfortunately, we're not able to provide you with your score. So, okay, fair enough. I probably should have read the fine print a little better. But here's the thing that made me a little sus. So, like I said, you need a certain IQ to qualify for Mensa. But even after you qualify, you still have to pay a whopping... $1,561 to permanently be a member. At the end of the day, Mensa is just a business. And they said they don't release any test information, right? So what's stopping them from just qualifying everybody? Like nobody's gonna get an email saying they qualified and think, no, I'm, I'm not smart enough for this. They're probably lying. I don't think I'm smart enough. And Mensa would obviously need more customers. Also, Mensa literally just gives you like bragging rights to tell everybody how high of an IQ you have. And I'm pretty sure the dumber you are, the more you'd want to prove to others that you're smart and feel validated. But yeah, I'm sorry it's a little anticlimactic, but let me know in the comments what you think about Mensa and IQ tests in general. Like and subscribe. And let me know if you guys want to see me buy an actual Mensa membership. As always, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.